A new man passing by. Life is good, best I've ever felt. I am a fool. <laughs> I'm a fool who got overdetermined to go on a walk this morning. I saw sun coming in my window, even though rain is on the forecast today, and I was like, I'm just gonna go. I literally poured some milk, threw in a load of laundry, got some ice in my water, and I just got in the car. Threw some socks in, um, and I already had a pair in here. And I just came. And now I'm regretting my decision, even though I'm super motivated. <laughs> it's so cold. Like, I literally have like goosebumps already on my legs. Ignore the shaving. What temperature outside? You see that? 53. It's 53. It's supposed to rain in 90 minutes. <laughs> I'm gonna try and walk fast. That's what I'm gonna try and do. And get warm. This is not a get color on my shoulders kind of a day. Not by, not by a long shot. Everyone's leaving. Everyone's getting in their cars and leaving the park. <sighs> I'm a fool. But I, we don't get sunshine until, where's my, I want to open my car. No, open my frunk. All right. Oh, goodness sakes. Got my purse <laughs> right when I was trying to put it in there. Now I don't want to open that back up. No, oh, it's going to be so cold. Okay, let's see how many miles I can get in. We don't have sunshine till Wednesday. It's Monday. Jason had to go to a shoe show. Put in here. He had to go to a shoe show and he forgot about it. So he's down in Tacoma today and he's like, you want to come with? I'm like, that's a hard no. That's a hard no, even for a free lunch. <laughs> so I've got to just do this before it rains. Let's go see, we have an hour and a half. Let's see how many steps or miles I can get in. how I looked after <laughs> I'm so glad I went you guys go walking when it's hard go when it's cold or windy or threatening rain just go because it feels really good um, it was cold I have my tank top on in here but I have my my uh, little jacket thing on the whole time it was cold. There's at one point you saw that little glimmer of sunshine. I was like, oh, it's gonna feel so good. That's literally as long as the sun lasted. I turned the camera off and turned my podcast back on. Sun was gone. <laughs> I was like, all right, well, that was short lived. Um, but it was funny because like one half of the little trail, I think it's just protected with the marshland or something. The wetland, I guess is what you call it. Um, and so it wasn't windy at all over there. And you're kind of in the trees as well. And so it felt really decent over there. Like it wasn't cold. And then you come around this side and it's like trees are sideways and blustery and wind, like just crazy wind. And uh, I just kept going round and round. I, I told myself if I got too cold on the windy side, I would just go back and forth on the non-windy side but as I kept going um, you know I get a little bit hot and so it felt good to have the breeze on the cool on the windy side so I officially did come on tell me how much I did hang on let me look at it my elbow won't bend ah so I have to uh, do it this way three and a half miles I did three and a half miles this morning here at the park 
because I, I literally came downstairs from bed, put a load of laundry in. I think I shut some cupboard doors in the kitchen, got my drink, filled up my ice and walked out the door. So I haven't walked at all today. So three and a half hours isn't bad, but it is starting to rain and I just didn't want to get caught in the rain. So I'm going to head home. <sighs> Felt good. I'm trying to think what else I need to do today. Um, I will go to my doctor appointment tomorrow for my elbow. I have a strange feeling it's going to be anticlimactic for some reason that they're not going to issue an MRI. We'll, we'll talk about that tomorrow. I just had this suddenly sudden feeling like I'm part of me is glad that I'm, I came walking today cause it hurts more. It hurts the worst after I've walked and during my walking. So I'm worried that they'll be like, Oh, you need PT. And I'm like, that makes it feels worse. Like doing any kind of arm movement, like it, that hurts worse. And maybe, I don't know, maybe that'll help it. But, um, my dad, anyway, my dad doesn't think so. And my dad, as we know, is the guru. So I'm going to head home and technically Monday is Costco day. We're trying to get back to that, but I just don't think that we need anything. I think I'm just going to go maybe once this week to the grocery store or something. If we need like one or two things so we can get back on track to going to Costco on Monday. So we're just spending too much by going twice a week. So, um, I had thoughts of like decorating for the 4th of July, but again, when it's 50 degrees outside, we're literally in a wind advisory today and a flood watch tomorrow, a flood warning. <laughs> it's like, I don't really want to, not in the mood to decorate for the 4th of July. Hi. So I have showered. I didn't like wash my hair. It always looks darker than it actually is when I pull it back. But I want to show you two things. It's been a couple hours. Um, I've been folding laundry, doing laundry, um, working on a video. Um, I came home and I was going to have Abby, like, be behind the scenes showing you guys this. Oh, I hate that light. It's too yellow. Um, <laughs> I kind of want this. Like, I like all the things that my girls have made in their pottery class, in their ceramics class, and I hope and pray that everyone does it. Like, Kaylee and Abby have done the class now, and I really hope that... Um, Chelsea and Ashley take the class too at the high school, but this is like probably my favorite thing and I want it I want this <laughs> in my office um, But this is something Abby made and I literally want to get some felt and put on the bottom of it for example she has made This cute like some things that she makes I'm gonna hide the one she made here some things that she made has like they have like specific things that they have to do like this one had to be two pieces it had to be like a bowl and then something else and it had to follow a theme so this is like sun and moon kind of a theme here um okay so i don't know what the i don't know what the thing was for this one abby's asleep that's why i kind of was waiting for her to see if she would come down and wake up but i seriously love this one so much let me show you how cute I mean if I shouldn't have this I don't know who should I mean look at this this is so pretty and then every single flower is so beautiful and there's like the ombre blue going down and it's like a little jar little little cup okay so I, I want Abby to give that to me <laughs> I want this to go on my desk I don't know if I'm gonna put like cute pens in it or like, I don't know but I think it's super cute she can have it if she wants it it's hers she made it okay so then I'm sitting here editing and I got distracted I got distracted by um Jason did some ordering this weekend um and he was ordering from Ufos and I was like oh I wonder if there's like a new style so just so you know Ufos are my sandal of choice okay they're not like the cutest things, but they are super they comfortable. They are the official, um, what do they call it? Recovery shoe of the Olympics. So Olympians wear UFOs, okay? They're really, really good shoes. We recommend, Jason recommends them to patients who are recovering from surgeries or boots or things like that, wearing them around the house. Jason probably has about three pairs of UFOs slides, 
because he likes slides versus like flip flops that he wears around the house. And I think now Abby has a pair that she can wear around the house when she's not wearing slippers. So I was like, I wonder if they have like a new, like a new color or a new style or something that I could have him order for me, even though he probably already put in the current orders. So I want to show you the one I'm going to have him order for me. Not the Omega, not the ooh la la. Let's see here. I think I passed it. Okay, that's the one I want to show. Okay. Okay, so these are the ones that I have. I think I have this one right here. Oh no, I don't know. I think it's this one. Um, and I love it. Yeah, that's the one I have right there. I love that color. It's really fun, right? But then I saw these guys and I was like, ooh, that's kind of fun. And I'm torn between like these two colors, right? These are my colors, that and purple. Um, so I don't know, I, like I, I want to order one of those. So I have to decide between one of the, one or two, you know, whichever one I want. Um, and probably maybe the ease of being able to get it, like if they're in stock, okay? So I'm looking at these and I'm like, well, let's see if there's anything else. Okay. I mean, <laughs> I don't do slides, but how stink, I have never, they have never done like a Hawaiian print. I haven't seen them do, like they just do these styles. I've never seen one with an actual print on it. And I have never done like an actual like slide version of it and, and instead of a flip flop. But he's ordering these for me. He's ordering these. If you guys want these, I'm going to put it out there. I don't know how limited they are. I don't know how available they are. I'm going to put it out there. If you guys want to buy them, go and message me on, hang on. Jason's probably going to kill me. <laughs> I, I might have to take this out if he doesn't agree to do this. If you guys want to order these, um, know your size. Go message me. Well, you can message me here on, on this video if you want. Um, or you can go message me and a DM on my Instagram account. Um, if you want some of those Hawaiian print, I know all of my people that are Hawaiian people. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. I seriously, I seriously want some of these so bad. And I'm not a slide person, but I could use these as like my in-house shoe. And even like when I go to people's houses, like I would maybe wear it like my sister-in-law's house, you know, you take your shoes off, but maybe this is my in-house shoe where I could actually wear it inside when I go to other people's houses. So I have to wait till Jason gets home. He's on his way, I think. So we're just gonna leave this page open. Where'd it go? We're gonna leave this page just like that. We're gonna leave it open for him. <laughs> um, okay, I gotta go back and edit because as soon as he gets home and gets, well, he doesn't need to shower. He wasn't hiking. He's at a, shoe convention. That's where he's at. He's going to want to either take a nap or he's going to want to go somewhere and tinker and do something. And I have to take Chelsea to an ortho appointment. Um, like in an hour. When is Chelsea home from school? Oh yeah. In an hour and a half. I have to leave. That was him. Oh, garbage truck must be on our other side. So he must not have been able to go down and park in the garage. Okay. I got to get to work, but I will let you know what he says about that shoes for me, number one and number two, if you guys want to order them, we would order them, get them at the store and then ship them to you and we could make a deal with you. So we could offer you a discount, uh, a little friends discount, a little Hawaiian, a little Aloha discount. That's what we could do. So if you're serious about it and want to order them, you'd have to pay for shipping wherever we ship them to, to you. Um, offer, offer maybe a little discount if he agrees to it. Um, but they're so cute. So if you want to look at them more, ufos.com and, and look at the different styles and stuff. So, and they're pretty forgiving on size. Like mine are a little bit big. Um, I'm a size 10. It hangs a little bit longer, but it's okay because the size nine and a half isn't big enough. So I'm kind of excited. All right. He's home. He's literally wearing his house slippers. Yeah, busting his, my house slippers. His, his ufos. Okay, so bad news and good news. Tell him the bad news for the sandals. 
Well, she talked to you about some sandal. What she didn't realize is this is a ca- catalog for 2025. <laughs> so that sandal's not available until the end of May. So you have a year oh, to wait. stay. I guess it could be the 1st of May, whatever, May 2025. Yeah, so that's the only bad side to that. So we have plenty of time to, like, save up for shoes if you want them. Yes. Yes. Save up for shoes. He literally pulled in, like, maybe five minutes after I was talking to you guys about that. So it's a little bit of a bummer that they are not available right now. So if you want to think about it for next year, which is kind of a bummer, um... Let me know, and I can just write your name down, and I can follow up with you next year. And we can put that order in. They're limited edition, so you're not going to... They don't make too many of them. Yeah, and I don't know that you're going to get them. I don't know that stores are going to carry them. You know what I mean? Like, a regular... Few st- a few like will. Hawaii, like, Hawaii Florida, actually will probably carry Hawaii, it. Florida. I don't even know anybody else around here that even carries them. Yeah. The, so I, I want Matt Cute for that year. I know! Imagine me wearing those cute little Both sandals here, with my little like, tattoo. And I don't do slides, but those would be cute. But I also want, I'm telling him on camera so that he doesn't ha- get to say no. I don't ask for shoes. I don't, I don't ask either. for you shoes very yeah, often. I want like the, this one. That would be cute, cute too. Berry with my one. Neon berry. That's April 25. Because I wouldn't wear the slides very much outside. You know what I mean? Like I, I might because they're really cute. You would. But so this one is April. next year. Next year. Yeah. That's a bummer. But that's okay. That's what I'll get next year then. Sounds like a plan. I do get a new one every year because I wear mine from what, yes. like February to the second you see October, sun, November. You <laughs> so I wear them a very good chunk of the year. So I'm finishing up one video, and uh, <sighs> anyway, I still have to do what I have to do. I need to Target with Chelsea. She needed. What did we come here for? Oh, she texted me while she was at school today, and she's like, "I want to make a red velvet cake." Turns out they want to make a Curious George cake. <laughs> so, um, and I guess she's doing it with Kaylee tomorrow or something. So we're here at Target to get the cake and the frosting. Um, but I ran over to um, Bath and Body Bath and Body Works. They have a, their annual sale or whatever. I need the Waikiki to be cheaper. It's still nine dollars. It's half off. Um, but I was able to get this Tahiti Island Dream. It's like my next, the next closest tropical scent. Yep, that's pretty good. So this is only four bucks when it's normally 17. So good deal. She's in the dressing room. We saw some jeans that she's trying on. And now that I know her size, I can order them, try and order them online, ship to store kind of thing. And uh, also some pajamas that are the same as my gray and my floral ones that I got for my surgery. She's like, why didn't you tell me these were so nice? <laughs> I wasn't beekeeping it. I told everyone how comfortable those pajamas are, and they're from here. So I am treating her to some new pajamas because she wears the same little Christmas boxers um, every single day when she gets home from school. So getting her that and a little bralette. So, but it's it's more just because it's fun to shop with her when she hates shopping. Literally hates it with everything, but she's having fun right now, and I'm like, you can have whatever you want. Hopefully we don't forget the frosting and the cake mix. And also Abby wants cheese. And Jason's like, oh, let's just go to Costco. And I was like, no, we're not going to Costco. We're not. So also I am secretly kind of glad we don't have to shop for regular shoes outside of our store. Cause it's just like, these aren't good for you. They're not good for your feet. These. Or what are these called? Sport? What are these called? They're not good for your feet, people. Don't get them. Pay the extra money for good shoes. So I'm glad I don't have to do this. I'm glad I have a husband who knows exactly what I need for my feet. Also, my my brother bought a pair of shoes last night from us. We're shipping it to him. And uh and he's like, we were gonna he was like, I'll just get the smaller size. He's like, well, how long does it take for it to stretch and like wear in? And I was like, a good shoe doesn't stretch and wear in. Like you should be able to put it on and wear it immediately and it should work. And he's like, oh, so I shouldn't be doing that with other shoes? (laughs) I was like, no, you shouldn't. It should work immediately. So ordered him some shoes. I'm just waiting for Chelsea. So 
Yep, there she is. Here, come come over here. We'll show them the ones we're gonna keep an eye out for. The pants? These cute pants. They're just cute She's gonna buy these if we see them because I'm not buying pants for summer. <laughs> and then you don't have to show the bralette, but I'll show them the pajamas. See, I have the gray ones and the little floral print, but it comes with shorts too. And they're like 20 bucks, aren't they? <gasps> they're on clearance. Good girl, they're 10.99. Maybe I should get another pair. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, and then she got a little black bralette. So we're gonna. We can't forget cheese. After all this, we can't forget cheese. Can I, I show? Want to go over She's right there. We. She had a bracket that came loose on her braces, so we did that, and then we came to Target. I'm put that in my purse. I don't know why I didn't do it before. Okay. All right, folks. So I'm jumping in here. It worked out. Well, Dana ran and had fun with Chelsea. I am now gonna go down and get a snack. I'm gonna show you what that snack is. It's a good one. It's Trader Joe's. Yeah. What? What'd you say in over there? Get me one. What? Give me one. I'll share some with you. Or you can just have your Uh, no. You already have ice cream, you have tons of stuff. I have you no snacks. You have ice cream too? No, I have no snacks. You guys ate the chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream. That's mine. You have chocolate. We said I like chocolate. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Anyways, I'll show you what it is. It's a good one. Um, it's a, it's still candy, but it's not of all the high fructose corn syrup. So a little healthier. Just sugar rather than high fructose. Come along. I'll show you what it is. Maybe you eat it. If you have a favorite Trader Joe's uh, snack, put it down below. Share your ideas. It's always good to try a new snack. Bam, I'm back. So this, they have little variations on it. These are like the little Scandinavian swimmers. I had another one. I think they rotate like the what their shapes are, but they're just a little bit better. You know, they got cane sugar, tapioca syrup, invert sugar, whatever the heck that is. Anyways, no high, high fructose, high fructose corn syrup, but they're just good little munchies. It's one of my uh, Dana wanted me to admit on camera that I'm addicted. Part of my 12 steps, she said. <laughs> Anyways. Write down below what you guys like, and thanks for watching. Come back for more, and uh, I guess I'm wrapping up the day. So thank you. Take care.